get back on the winning track. For Terry Stotts and his staff, defense was the overwhelming theme in practice the last couple of days. Tonight, that defense will be tested by the Indiana Pacers. Jeff Teague is the go-to guy, and the leading scorer, Paul George, out with an injury. Mo Harkless is becoming a consistent spark plug for Portland, and his energy will be huge for the Blazers tonight. It's a Moda Center matchup with the Pacers, and it starts now. Young, the hopper in the paint, contended, and recovered by Lillard. C.J. McCollum, hard dribble drive into the lane and laid it home. Well, you can forget it when C.J. gets a transition, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Strolls right to the cup, unimpeded. I'm not sure if they thought Mason Plumlee was rolling to the basket and Dane was looking for the pass, but you know the first rule of defense, Kevin. you got to stop the ball first. 12-2 advantage in the paint for the Blazers. Waiting for a payoff. Here's Lillard the other way, diving in deep. And he's got that left side wide open. That's twice he's scooted down there for damage. So he's poured in a couple. You know what, Kevin, for Dame, within three feet. Blazers the other way on the miss. Lillard draws the defenders down, leaving Lillard up top for the triple. The Euro step at the last second from Dame. Kraft coming off the screen and a hard one set by Leonard. He stood up, Monte. Here's Lillard off the screen, lobs it to Plumlee, leads him to the hole for the two-hand jam. And the Blazers on top by a dozen with 2.15 to go here in the first. They buzz around at the top, Crab firing a three, and knocks it down. That's just great design from Terry Stott. Two and a half blocks, fourth in the league. Lillard steps up over Teague and uncorks and hits. In the latter half of the first, here's Crab outside, a deep two is good. Well, this is the AC yep. we're used to seeing. Damian Holding surveys off the screen. Swings it to Hart, jabs it right, moves it left. Reverses one up and in, beautifully done. Set up. Lillard off the screen, turns on the Jets. Hartless drops to the level of the pass and knocks down a triple in front of his own bench. He's giving you a little bit of everything. And when you talk about him being that kicking to Lillard, and his cast is up and in. You know, he said the effort is there, but sometimes it's the mental effort, like recognizing the situation, getting your body in a position to help them, getting back to your man, and of course, communication. He compared the current situation they're in to last season when they were 11 and 20, and coach said to them, do you want to make the playoffs? You can, but the defense has, Dame said they knew they were capable of turning it around. We locked in, we won a lot of games. And Bogut, coming off the screen, Lillard into the air rising. And a foul goal. They, they say that after three, and they're going to have three days in Los Angeles after tonight. Lillard comes down and hits a 15-footer from the elbow. But they say Paul will be back in time. Off the screen, Lillard gets to the sweet spot. The cast is up and in. But the Pacers will have Lillard finding McCullough for the three. Down it goes. Turner on the left, Plumley on the right. Plumley needs a break and lays it up and in as he lopes by Stuckey. Well, it was a great pass to start the court. Lillard on the Harkless screen into the lane and a foul. And Harkless for the left hand wow. and sends in a runner from the elbow straight away. How tough is that? Very. <laughs> for the championship in 77. Into the lane. Lillard, the high running right hander, banked it up and in. Now we've seen it all. His last two shots are easily the two toughest shots I've seen tonight. 15 point Blazer lead, 440 to go. Goes right at the big and lays it up and in. Boy, he saw a big Al Jefferson standing there and he went at him. Lillard to the end line, running right hander. Off the window, up and in for Lillard. Going more and more to that mid-range teardrop about 10 to 12 feet out. He defends Joe Young, who breaks to the inline and a foul. Lord, uh, the Pacers will drop to 9 and 10, and they go 1 and 6 out on the road. They'll have three days. Dame, you guys were able to set the pace and set the tempo early, and you didn't let up. Is this the most complete game you've played so far this season? I think close to it. Uh, you know, usually we'll have a, a slow start. Then we'll find our way back in the second. Then we'll have a big third quarter. You know, in the games that we have played well defensively. But I think tonight, you know, in the locker room, coach said, "Look, we need to come out and have a good first quarter defensively." 
Uh, we had two great practices the last two days, um, and we wanted to come out and make it translate to, to the real game. And uh, I thought we did a great job in the first. In the second, they kind of got going on us, um, but I was proud of how we were able to find it again in the third um, and finish the game in the fourth. So I think it was a, you know, a really good defensive game for us. You mentioned a coach challenging you to be a better team defensively, and you mentioned the last two games you focused on it. How were you able to turn it around so quickly tonight? I mean, like I said, we had two good days of practice. Um, you know, and in the locker room, we joked with each other, like, man, if we're going to come out here and, and beat each other up uh, for two days and make our, our own teammates work this hard to get good looks, um, just because we're trying to win a drill in practice, why not go out and do it to other teams? You know, especially when that means more. You know, it's wins and losses on the line. Um, and tonight, I was proud of how we came out and did what we've done in practice the last two days. You had a double figures and assists. You shared the ball beautifully. How were you able to see the floor so well tonight? I mean, well, to start the game, our bigs, you know, they were moving, they were sprinting in the screen, setting good screens, so I was able to get into the paint, um, and they, they collapsed. You know, guys were open on the perimeter, uh, guys knocked down shots, it was, you know, it was a simple game. A great game defensively by everyone. How do you carry this momentum moving forward? We got to understand what allowed us to do it. You know, we can't come out and have a good performance like this and uh, think that it's just it's easy. Uh, you know, it's something that you got to continue to work on. You got to continue to be locked in mentally. Um, and that's a challenge. You know, that's what separates really good teams from average teams. And uh, we're trying to work our way up to being a really good team. Uh, so we got to be much more consistent. We got to build on this. Thanks a lot, Dame. Nice job tonight. Thank you.